Alrighty. Today's the day. Well, today's the day. They're coming today or tomorrow. Or we're going to the hospital right now. Thanks, you boys. You're about to have brothers. About to have brothers. Okay, so we just got word that the boys are coming today. So currently we just got home and we're getting our bags. So our hospital bags, and we gotta go let Banks out, give him some love before we leave. And then we're going to head to the hospital and go get ready, go get the babies on the monitor and then just pray for things to go good. Got the car on, uh, yeah. Nerve wracking, but super cool because we were both teasing each other that the boys would come today. Here they come. So it's going to be awesome. Bags packed. All right. Go see Sasha. You're going to have brothers. And so the plan is it's either going to happen today or tomorrow morning at 7. We had an inkling that it was going to happen today. We looked at her stomach and, just, and she's like, you guys are going to come out today, pretty much. Pulling and, into uh, the parking garage. It's all good. Everything will work out. We got this great hey Zeus on our side. Yep, so yep, yep, basically. Yep, yep. Every day I wear my tan. Every day we on our front. All right. We made it to the hospital. Safe and sound. The package is there. And now we are heading up to the uh, labor and delivery floor. Alrighty, we are completely, I wouldn't say completely settled, but we're in the whatever room we're in right now. Yeah. Sasha has gotten her vitals down. She's in her gown. Waiting for the news. Wait. Night or in the morning. Waiting for the news for Dr. Cross to roll in and uh, give us the scoop on what's going to go down in the next 24 hours, baby. And I'm really thirsty. I'm really craving some apple juice right now. Any kind of juice, really. But yeah. <laughs> Yep, so we'll see. Got the heart monitors on. Yep, yep, yep. Now I just gotta wait for the doctor to come in and give us the news. Well, we got the news. The boys are gonna be coming at 7.30 in the morning. We're gonna get moved out of this room into another one into a good room i'm gonna go pick up some grub get a good meal get sasha a watermelon and a ton of apple juice because she really really wants that so 7 30 hey. showtime you're cute you're cute <laughs> that's the baby mama so we're in our new room now nice and big it's got done smashing some food we've got zaxby's signature sandwiches because we like them a lot and now we're smashing <clears throat> some carrot cake Careful. and red velvet cake Met our nurses. Nurses are dope. Happy birthday, Briggs and Baylor. Mom. Hey, what's this bouncy ball? You see, the thing about pregnancies is that you gotta make sure your hair's on point. You never know when a duty is gonna call, right? Sasha likes the messy look. Gonna give her the messy look. Yo, update, it is 9.30 p.m. and uh, we're fixing to sign out and go to sleep. And we will get back with you guys tomorrow morning when we wake up to get ready for the surgery. So we'll see you guys soon. Peace. Later. It is 7.10 in the morning and it is showtime, baby. Uh, the doctors came in, anesthesiologists came in, and Sasha's all prepped and ready to go. And she's fixing to go back. Yeah, see how this thing goes. You ready? I love you. Woo, let's go, we're gonna be parents today. They have officially taken Sasha back. And now I gotta put on this goofy suit. First baby. Yes. Well, when you decide in a few years to have another baby and it's born, it'll be a cakewalk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're hoping, as of now, we're hoping that we're going to we'll be done with just this. With this. this. Oh, come on, you have to have the third. You have to have a paddle tail. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? How long does it usually take? Start to finish about 45 minutes. Uh -huh.
be a dad, baby. Let's go, twin boys. Okay, so nerves haven't really quite set in yet. Kind of, but not really. Sasha's in the back. I'm getting a spinal block. I'm waiting to go back there. And then the surgery will take like, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. So we'll see. So excited. Get to be a daddy today. It just blows my mind how Sasha carried two boys, two babies in her stomach like an absolute champ for almost 36 weeks. So crazy. She killed it. I love her so much. I'm so freaking proud of her. It's game time, baby. Let's go. So the boys did it. Sasha killed it. Went back to the NICU, saw him. Boys are doing good. Baylor came out to 4.9 pounds or four pounds and nine ounces. And then Briggs came out to five pounds, 11 ounces. Both are super healthy, doing good. Now we're just waiting for mom to get back to the room and then for the boys to come in and be with us whenever they can. Yes, yes. The lunch was just brought to Sasha. Let's see what uh, the old hospital's whipping up. Sausage, steak, actions, potatoes, and peas, and cake, and sweet tea. I don't even know what's feeling right now. <laughs> <laughs> she about to be out. How do you feel? Painful. You feel painful right now, Lou? Yeah. How do you think Banksy boy's doing? Oh, my little boy's so sad. Feels like the sun's right beside us, like <laughs> five feet away. Man, they give they give me all this medicine, and they tell me this for pain. Has it relieved my pain? No. <laughs> Ain't nothing but liars up in here. You're funny. I only got cut open at 8 a.m. and it's what? What time is it? 1.20. I don't know, I'm a lot of hours away. You like bacon or do you like sausage? Which one would, would you like in the morning? Well, I guess you'll have to ask me in the morning. I don't know. Right? I'll invite you. Um, we'll be coming with your food. Do sausage. Sausage. The pork or the turkey? And pork. Pork sausage. You drink coffee? Yes. <laughs> No, yes. <laughs> no, yes. she won't drink it. But <laughs> so my yes is shaking her head. No. He say no, you won't bring it to me. But if <laughs> I say yes, he'll drink it. Well, he can drink it. I can bring oh, it. Yeah. Oh, okay. He yeah. Say bring it. She cares about me when she's yeah. doped up. <laughs> you want juice? All of them. <laughs> I got you. I put it down. I forgot. Ow. I forgot she was on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. You're beautiful. Oh, wow. Boys are still in the NICU. Sasha is getting very impatient like any mother would. And we're gonna go wheelchair her, wheelchair her down there so she can go see the boys because she hasn't seen them yet other than when they first came out of her. So I'm going to go see our boys. Mama still hasn't been able to hold her boys. We're walking down to the nursery right now. We still haven't been able to see our boys yet. That's gonna change right now. Hey, buddy. Update, day two in the hospital, day three actually. Uh, mom is walking. Now we're going to uh, the nursery to go see our boys again. Saw them last night, it was absolutely awesome. Got to hold them for the first time. Got to hold them for the first time. And now we're gonna hold them for the second time. Baby Baylor. Mama's got Briggs. Briggsy boy. Hey, dude. Mm -hmm. 
little update. This is Baylor, one of our boys, and Briggsy boy, and Mama. Oh, Briggs, say hi. Say hi. The boys are doing good. The boys are up in their food, have come off fluids completely. They're making progress. Soon they're gonna be out of these things completely. We have to put some dino clothes on, dress them up. Hopefully be home by the end of the week with these guys. Oh, the little baby. Update, the boys have officially been uh, taken off of fluids, both of them. Before it was just Baylor, now Briggs is also off fluids. Food has been up to like 30 mLs. Hospital has really great food. These chicken fillies and Philly cheesesteaks are fire and like only $4. Thank you, best GMC. My hair's looking amazing now. Hey, you're good, you're the mom. Do whatever you want. We're aiming for them to get out of the isolates tomorrow and can be put in mass nets. Yep. And I can't wait to dress them. Probably gonna change them like 30, probably what, 30 times a day? At least, minimum. Dinosaur stuff all the way. <laughs> This is Mama feeding Baylor. This dude is an absolute champ and definitely has my appetite because he is putting down his food. Briggsy boy is one we have to work on. Come on. This guy is not holding back. Big boy. Oos. Go. Yeah, that's the guy you were kicking. <laughs> you're gonna act like you're asleep. You're just oh, there's a smile. Alright, so today is the first day that I have left the hospital. Sasha is still there. Our dog sitter is officially gone. I gotta come back home drop off some things, pick up some things, and say hi to Banks. Also gonna let him sniff some of the swaddles that the boys have been in for the last couple of days. Mom should be getting discharged tomorrow. Boys will probably be here for a couple of, be at the hospital for a couple more days until they're fully ready to go. Let's see how Banks' reaction is when he sees me. This is the first time he's been away from us for more than a day, probably. And also, let's see how his reaction is to sniffing his brothers. I can't wait to see his reaction when he sees his brothers, but for now, see how he is when he sniffs them. Thanks, you boy! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Thank you, Thanks, you boy! Thanks, you boy! Thanks, you boy! It's okay, Bobbies! We're here! We're here! We're here! Come here, baby boy! Come here! Baby boy! Come here! Hi, baby boy! She's sleeping. So just a little update for you guys. We are back home in our house, kind of on the struggle bus really, because the boys are still in the NICU at the hospital and it's really lame. Last night was probably the hardest night because we've been home for two days now without, without being in the hospital with them. We only get to see them. We can see them as much as we want, but they're in their little NICU incubator box thing and we can only pull them out and hold them for 30 minutes once per shift. So, and we really want them home. Baylor's doing great, he's excelling, he's, he's eating all of his food, he's doing, he's doing big things. 
Briggs is the one on the struggle bus and not putting his food down by mouth. So they have to put the rest of his food that he doesn't eat through an NG tube. He just can't start the weaning process out of the NICU box until Briggs starts getting his food down. I'm pretty sure they could send Baylor home earlier than Briggs, but the hospital doesn't want that. We don't want that. And so we want both of them. But um, yeah, we're home. Yeah, Sasha's sleeping. She's just recovering because she had the, uh, the incision. Yeah, she just, she's not feeling too great. She was real sad last night, which made me real sad last night. So we prayed and uh, praying a lot lately. Always praying, but a lot more because of the boys. So if you're seeing this, please lift up some prayers for them that they do good. Overall, they're healthy, you know? They're doing good, so. I don't know, we'll see. We'll keep you guys updated, go from there. So thankfully, thankfully, the nurses are letting us put pictures up inside of their little Nikki boxes. So we printed some out and we're gonna post them up. The little dudes. And over there with mom and hers, so. For Baylor's, got brother holding them. Mom and dad, mom and dad. And then we got mom and dad and mom and dad. Here we got Baylor's little NICU. Isolate. Isolate thing. And here we got Briggs' little isolate thing. Hopefully we're out of this and uh, coming home soon. So now you see where our boys are at. We're home and they're not. We need them home. Welcome to their crib. Welcome to their crib. <laughs> It's Christian Sanchez and we're here with MTV Cribs. About to go see where Baylor and Briggs live. Welcome to our crib. This is Baylor's Deluxe Isolette. Over here you got Briggs, his Isolette. Also comes with some special features. As you see up here, we got the Elite blood pressure cuff, fancy hand sanitizer, and all these settings up here. So Baylor's, they both have it. The hydraulic system. Can go. Holy smokes, that's, that's an upgrade. That's them down right here. They got four windows on each one. Holy smokes. Balls come down, completely down. That temperature control, it's temperature. pretty sick. It's all elite though. Nothing but the best, dude. Well, today is the day. The boys are here and best birthday present ever. Birthday June 22nd. Boys were born June 11th and we are finally getting them on the 22nd. 11 days later, the boys are here and they are going home with us, finally. Excited? Yeah, a little nervous though. Now it's about to get real. Cause for a minute, it, wasn't really, it didn't really feel like we were, we were really parents because you know, they weren't coming home with us. Now, we are those 24 seven full-time parents, but we got it. got it. Boys, you ready? Oh, you can't see that, Never mind. Who is it? Who is it? Look.